Today I'm going to show you how to change the spark plugs on your 2010 Toyota Highlander. This will work from years anywhere from 2008 to 2013. Let's do it. So everything that we're going to be working with is under this cover. It's super easy to take off. Just pop it off. Right here are your first three cylinders. We want to take these cables off so we can take the ignition coils out and the spark plugs are in there. These cables have these little snap connectors. They break. They break all the time. This one's already broken and it's just zip tied held onto the ignition coil. So I'm going to cut this zip tie and then I'll reapply this. But hopefully I don't break anymore. But it's bound to happen to you. It happens to almost everybody who does this. There goes another one. I will zip tie that on when I'm done. Yeah. I'm just using a standard 10 millimeter to get these packs off. I'm going to do one at a time. I'm going to work from right to left so nothing gets confusing. Just got my standard 5 8 inch spark plug socket. I'm just going to inspect every plug and make sure everything looks all right. I just want to make sure that nothing's wet and everything looks like it seems to be firing okay. So far so good. And now I'm going to put the new plugs in. You want to tighten down to where everything's snug. But again, you do not want to strip a spark plug. Just get them hand tight. Don't crank them down super, super tight. Two down, one more to go of this front row. Okay, the front three are done. I'm not going to plug everything back in because I know I have to disassemble some stuff back here and I don't want to have to go t unplug it again. So the next thing, I know my plugs are under here and this is the intake manifold and I know I have to take this off in order to get to them. Everybody online says it's super tricky. We're going to figure it out. I just did a project where I had to remove the entire dashboard and everything in the front of the car. So compared to that, I don't think this is going to be too bad at all. So I had to remove flex pipe that comes from 
my air filter into the intake. Now I've got to take off this gray thing. I'm not sure what it, what it is. Comment in the section in the comment section if you know what it is. I know it's a valve that allows air into the engine. That's what I know. got that disconnected there's two coolant lines that are connected to it whatever you do don't disconnect those they do not need to be disconnected just set it out of the way now we're going to take off all the hoses and plugs that go into this thing I can't find the bolts that I'm supposed to get to that go behind this thing that some people have gotten just by reaching their hands around so I think I'm gonna have to take this and the wiper assembly off not a big deal Well, so here's what I discovered. I got to the bolts that I needed to take this off, but somewhere, sometime, someone has taken out the left side and didn't replace the bolt, probably because it, they either lost it or it's too hard to get in. So I've got to do it right and I've got to replace it with the right part. But first, I got to change the plug. Okay, all the plugs are in. Now I gotta get everything back together. I've gotta connect all the wiring up here, connect all the wiring harness back. I took some bolts off from the wiring harness right here. And then I've gotta put the intake manifold back in and get the intake uh, all plugged back in. Make sure all the tubes plug all of the ignition coils back in and we should be good to go. Start with the back of the wiring harness, work to the intake, then work to the front. Now I'm going to go to tighten and put in the really tricky bolt uh, in the very, very, very far back. So.
got my zip ties now I'm gonna try to fix these wire harnesses uh, I'm going to secure them to the ignition coil so they're never gonna pop off what I do is I just take two uh, zip ties and put them together and put them all the way around the coil and all the way around the harness they don't come off now I've got everything connected and before I put the the cover back on and before I put the windshield wiper assembly back on I'm going to start it up to see if everything's good to go. Everything seems to be running great. I'm going to put the windshield wiper assembly back on and we're done. I know it may be hard to see, but that is a wrap. Everything is complete. I am super proud. Everything works great. Let me tell you, I had one problem. I got the boot stuck on the sixth cylinder on the last one. I don't know what number it actually is. On the very last cylinder I did, in the very far back, I got the boot stuck. It separated from the ignition coil, and the boot was stuck on the spark plug on the old one, so not even the new one, on the old one, and I couldn't get it out. I tried pliers, couldn't get them back there. Well, I found, I figured out that I can use a coat hanger. And so I just bent a coat hanger and I bent a hook and I dug it down into, um, into where the spark plug is. And all I did was twist it and pull the boot right out. It worked perfectly. It came out super easy. I did spray WD-40 on it, but that is it. It is complete. Good luck. You can do this. It just takes a little time. It's going to be cheaper than having a mechanic do it. You can do this you can fix your own car. If you wanna see more things like this and more things of me fixing my car and my other cars and my other house projects, please subscribe below. Please comment also on any project that you are doing. I would love to hear about it. Comment, if you are a mechanic, please comment and tell me what I did wrong. I wanna learn. I wanna know how I can do this job and other jobs on my vehicle better. Look forward to hearing from you.